In this video, I show you how to create and give you some useful tips on Smart Playlist and Recordbox DJ. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So Smart Playlist and Recordbox DJ are handled a little bit more like they are in iTunes rather than how Serato DJ Pro does it. And in my opinion, that's an advantage. And I'll show you what it, exactly what I mean by that once I get into the playlist that I've created right here on the left side. But first, let's go ahead and start by creating a new Smart Playlist. Or in the case of Recordbox DJ, they actually call them Intelligent Playlists. So we're gonna go ahead and right click right here where it says Playlists. Then we're gonna to go to create new intelligent playlist. Like how you have the rule set in Serato DJ Pro or how you set up the rules in something like iTunes, we can go ahead and name it. So let's go ahead and name this, um, I don't know, uh, open format party rockers, uh, something corny. So here we can go to the first column and we can choose um, what part of the ID3 tag or metadata of the songs that we can go ahead and build rules around. So first one, I would say, I'm gonna go to comments and equals, and notice we have a lot of different modifiers here. So we can say the comment equals whatever we put in this box or does not equal. So whatever we have in here, it'll exclude. Contains means it's somewhere in the tag. Does not contain means, you know, it's somewhere in the tag and we don't want that in the list. Starts with and ends with. And I like these options a lot more than what you see in a lot of other software because it allows for a lot more manipulation and a lot more fine-tuned rules. So in this case, we're gonna do something simple. So we're gonna go to contains and then gonna go um, party because those are my uh, party star tracks. So real quick, created that list super fast. Go ahead and sort that by BPM. But now maybe I want to refine that. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that again, edit intelligent playlist. Um, maybe I just want it early 2000s. So uh, what I can do is go to year, and then it's in the range of, which is really cool, because some software you have to actually do like the start year and the end year. So in the range of, let's say, 1999 to mm, 2000, uh, 2006, maybe. Bang. Now these are all the songs from that era. Now that's all cool, but I think that really shows you the kind of uh, flexibility that you have with these extra settings that you can have in the rules in these intelligent playlists that Recordbox DJ has. So we can even refine that even further. So maybe I want, uh, maybe, I don't know, the genre, maybe I just want R&B from uh, that era. So R&B, and here's just all the R&B in the early 2000s in my party starters crate. So that's, you know, pretty specific and I can even, you know, dial it in even further and do something like, oh, well, I can add in, let's say I want the BPM, same thing in the range of hmm, 70 to 89. And that'll narrow it down even further. So it shows you how narrowed down this can be and really, you know, you can create some really niche down playlists. And just like how it is in um, iTunes and in Serato DJ Pro, these are all live updating as well, which is, in my opinion, the best part of using smart playlists, smart crates, intelligent playlists, whatever the software calls them. To me, that's the best part that you really don't have to think about, you know, adding songs to these playlists. They're just automatically there once you add them to your library or collection or whatever the software calls it. So let me go through some of my playlists that I've created, or I should say playlist folders in this case, and that's a little preview of why these are better than smart crates in uh, Serato DJ Pro. So in Serato DJ Pro, you can make sub crates by dragging you know, a playlist into uh, another playlist like that, and it'll end up in the list. So something like dance right here, I made a folder and I have all these playlists that would be underneath it. So in the case of using Serato, I would name this dance like a simple playlist and then add all of these smart playlists into it and they would kind of what they call nest or just you know be hidden under this one and I can collapse like that and save room but one thing that you can't really do in Serato 
DJ Pro, which you can do here and you can do inside of um, iTunes as well, which I really take advantage of, is make multiple levels of folders. So in this case, I have BPM right here and now I have all openers or party. And what these are is this is every, all the songs. This right here is my party playlist minus the last couple years. So I know I can use this, um, you know, if I'm doing an opening set, I don't have to worry about burning the opener. And if I open this up, now this is all broken down into BPM. So again, if I go ahead and click on one of these, and then look at the rules. So same thing, right? Comments has that party tag in the range of the BPM range that I listed here. And the year is less than 2016, so a couple years back. So that's so powerful because it makes it so much easier to organize and really, you know, make this take up less room on your screen. Because if I had all of these opened up, look how much room, especially here in Rekordbox, the way I, I organize, just look how much I would have to scroll through all of this stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. So, oh, look, even more. Look at that, bang. All of this is hidden by just folding all of these up real quick, super easy, just like that. And that's really powerful in my opinion because that allows you to get to the music that you're looking for way faster where, you know, you can just go, oh, it's in hip hop, okay, it's in this folder right here, so let me open that up and I know it's in this BPM range. And that's one thing I would say, not just as far as smart um, playlists go, but in Rekordbox DJ, if you're using Rekordbox on CDJs, if you're an open format DJ, one thing that's kind of worked for me is this kind of layout where I would have a similar format that I have with my playlist in uh, iTunes, which I use in Serato, but I have it broken down by PPM range. So when I'm on the CDJ, this is, a good amount of tracks but it's still kind of manageable if I'm scrolling through it when you don't have that keyboard search you know a nice keyboard search like you have on Serato or other software and you really have to just scroll through the songs it really makes a lot of sense and really helps to break down these kind of playlists in some nice chunk BPM ranges uh, again if you're using Rekordbox DJ on CDJs with USB sticks and you want to DJ open format and you still want all your music on your uh, USB stick, you might want to try creating these kind of folders. And this is something that's, in tying it back into Smart Playlist, this is something that's kind of not really, you know, feasible or not really manageable if you're using regular playlists. But if you're using Smart Playlist and it does all the work for you and uses all the information, it makes it so easy to just make the playlist once and everything's automatically added to this. And now I don't have to worry about oh, did I add that song to the right playlist that in the right BPM range? As long as I have it added to my collection and then I sync my USB stick, all those new songs get added in right away and I know exactly where they are and I know exactly where to find them. And that's just another reason why smart playlists are great and really useful to use, especially on Rekordbox DJ and CDJs. So that's a look at smart playlists in Rekordbox DJ. So question of the day, how are you gonna go ahead and use smart playlists in Rekordbox DJ? Go and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.